Hi everyone, in this video we will be exploring Port Blair. Once you reach Andaman, you have two options. First you can stay back at Port Blair and explore the island and then head to Havelock and Neil Island. Second option is explore Havelock and Neil Island and then reach back to Port Blair to explore. We went with the second option. You can check out my previous videos where we covered Havelock and Neil Island. To explore Port Blair, it takes minimum 2 days and if you like more adventure and exploring offbeat places, 4 days should be good enough. By end of the video, I will let you know what all the offbeat places you can visit. Good morning. Today is our last day in Andaman. So we are going to North Bay and Ross Island and also a few more places today. So before that, let's go and have breakfast and then we will start a day. We are staying at Hotel Champagne which is a beautiful hotel. This is located at the heart of the city, making it easily accessible to local attractions and amenities. Even though hotel is old, it is well maintained and staff is friendly and the room prices are affordable too. Rajiv Gandhi National Park. From here, they'll take you for North Bay and Ross Island. Both are two different islands. So there is a single tour also and there is also a tour which covers both of that. The board starts at 9 o'clock. It will be good if you come as soon as possible. So we are here at 8.45. We got the tickets also. So now we are about to leave. In North Bay, there are a lot of water sports activities like parasailing, scuba diving, snorkeling and many more. The prices varies from activities to activities. It is around 600,000 and scuba will be 3,500. So mostly we are not doing any activities as we already did it in Havelock. So we are just going and chilling in beach. Uh, they will also mention that the prices are fixed but it is not really fixed. If you want to negotiate the price, you can negotiate. They actually reduced almost 500 on every activity for us but then we still didn't take the ticket as we have already did the activities in Havelock. North Bay and Ross Island will take half a day tour. It takes around 5 to 6 hours. So you can plan your day accordingly. First we are going to Ross Island. Once we come to Ross Island, then we have these electric carts where we can take this and roam around for 45 minutes or we can also roam around uh, by ourselves but that will take 2 hours but most probably the boat will give a time of uh, 1 hour 15 minutes so and this electric cart will take 45 minutes so it's better to take this one and they will also help us to understand what all is there in the Ross Island and the price of this is 110 rupees per person. Ross Island is located 3 km east of Port Blair. It served as the administrative headquarters of the British during colonial rule. The island is known for its historical buildings, beaches, lush green forest and coral reefs. What an amazing view! Ross Island is a beautiful island. It takes around 1.5 hours to explore and it has a beautiful viewpoint as well. So now it's time to go to North Bay. We 
are at North Bay Island and here you can experience different water activities from parasailing, jet ski, scuba, snorkeling and lot more. You can get the tickets at Rajiv Gandhi Park or you can also have the option to buy the tickets here. But don't forget to negotiate. There are few small cafes and restaurants to try out seafood. Don't have high expectations here as the food is good to kill hunger but not much in taste. North Bay is a pretty small island. Here mostly we come here to do activities. In case if you don't want to do activities, you can also skip this place and Havelock is recommended for the water sports compared to North Bay. The only one thing which we didn't see in Havelock and it is there in North Bay, that is Submarine. So we didn't do any activities here, so we mostly did all of the activities in Havelock. Please check out my previous video to know what all the activities is there in Havelock. So now let's go back to Port Blair. Next destination is Cellular Jail in Port Blair. This is 10 minutes away from the hotel we are staying in. The Cellular Jail is open all the days except Monday and the timings to visit the jail is from 9 am to 12.30 pm and later from 1.30 pm to 5 pm. Cellular jail, well known as Khala Pani, was used by British to imprison Indian freedom fighters during the struggle for independence. The prison's architecture, stories of its prisoners and its role in India's history have made it popular tourist attraction and a symbol of India's struggle for freedom. Total seven towers were here. Uh, सेल्युलर जेल के लेकिन अभी बस तीन टावर बचा हुआ है और दूसरे तरफ जो चार टावर थे वहाँ पर अब गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल है ये है वो तीन टावर्स जो अभी भी बचे हुए हैं नंबर वन डेट्स नंबर टू और ये है नंबर थ्री और दूसरे तरफ कंप्लीटली ओशन जैसे कि हमारे सिक्योरिटी वाले भैया बता रहे हैं यहाँ पर जो साथ में था ये एक आधा वाला बाकी है ये कम्प्लीटली नहीं तोड़ा गया लेकिन यहाँ पर यह हॉस्पिटल वाला ही स्पेस है ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द चाइल्ड इज अ ब्यूटिफुल व्यू फ्रॉम ह्योर वी कैन ऑल्सो सी रॉज आइलैंड एंड नॉर्थ पे विच वी वेंट बट दिस ब्यूटी इज ओनली फॉर अस फॉर द पीपल हु आर एक्चुअली प्रजेंट ह्योर दिस वॉज कॉल्ड एज खाला पानी बिकॉज दे वॉज नो रो टू एस्केप फॉर दैम फ्रॉम ह्योर Now we are leaving from Cellular Jail and going to Chidiya Tapu Beach. This is around 25 kilometers from Port Blair and it takes around 45 minutes and it is well known for sunset. Chidiya Tapu is a small village located about 25 kilometers from Port Blair. Well known for its stunning natural beauty and serves as a popular spot for bird watching with a variety of bird species including migratory birds. Visitors can also enjoy watching the breathtaking sunset. There are few shops nearby the sunset point. Let's have some snacks here and head for musical show at Cellular Jail. Cellular Jail Ali music and light show nadiyate evening time. There are three different shows. One is at 5:50 p.m. second one is 6:50 p.m and third one is 7:50 p.m we are here to attend 7:50 pm show you have to book the tickets in online i will leave the link in the description so that you can book the tickets
हम लोग यहाँ पर आए हुए थे लाइट शो देखने सेल्युलर जेल पे और काफ़ी अमेजिंग एक्सपीरियंस रहा काफ़ी कुछ समझने को मिला क्यों इसे काला पानी के नाम से जाना जाता है वो समझ पाए और ये जो स्टैच्यूज हम यहाँ पर देख रहे हैं ये सभी वो फ्रीडम फाइटर्स हैं जो यहाँ पर रखे गए थे एंड अमेजिंग एक्सपीरियंस डू नॉट मिस आउट इफ़ यू आर इन पोर्ट प्लेयर दिस शो एंड कमिंग टू सेल्युलर जेल सिंस वी बुक द लार्ज शो इट गॉट ओवर अराउंड एट थर्टी so now we are heading to have dinner most of the shops are closed here by 9 o'clock 9:30 everything closes here few restaurants are open till 10 o'clock we are going to a restaurant called anju coco which is uh, almost 900 meters uh, from cellular jail so we are just going by walk as we have not at hired the bike today <laughs> Anju Coco restaurant was great and if you are in Port Blair don't miss out to dine here We also thought of experiencing cuisines at different restaurants so thought of exploring Amaya restaurant which is rooftop restaurant in the Seashell hotel offering seafood and meat dishes plus mocktails The ambience is amazing with live music adding charm to the restaurant Food was expensive but worth it dinner and going back to hotel the roads are almost empty as it's 11 pm one the red gaadi galu akade inda ikade odadta ide ad bitre nobody is there on the road it feels so good to walk here and also it feels safe if you have few more days to spend you can visit corbin cove beach which is known for the water activities and a good place to spend your evenings Visit Sagrika Emporium which is a government certified shop to buy souvenirs at reasonable price but don't miss to take the receipt as they do check the items bought at the airport while on the return journey prices are not at all expensive with just 90 rupees even this earrings and all it's just 20 rupees 30 rupees one of the best place to buy gifts for family and friends if you have more days you can do a day tour for Baratang where the tour starts at morning 3 am and convoy takes to the tribal area and they also take you to the see the active volcano you can also opt for 3 day tour for diglipur which offers some beautiful beaches waterfalls and scenic trekking trails i'm ending this video here please like share and subscribe the channel thank you